Hello and welcome to Anderson's TV. My name is Jet Dutchbury and he's the Maltese Falcon. Ooh. And about a year ago, I did a video on a carry-on keyboard. <laughs> oh. The carry-on. No, not the old movies, but one of these, the Falcon. Well, these are the new ones. This is a 49 key one. Yes, Falcons, cheers, mate. This is a black 88 key one. Oh! And a white 88 key one. We're going to get them out of the box, explain what they are and the significance of owning a carry-on keyboard. Got these bad boys out of the box. This is the 49 key version and the two 88 key versions. And man, it's just a trip when the, there's apparently full-size keyboards here. <laughs> Let's see what happens when we open these out. Oh. It's a trip, right? The, fal <laughs> the Falco hasn't seen these in the flesh before. But as I said, I did a video about a year ago where I get these out. Now, in the box, the only difference is uh, between the two models, the 49 and the 88, where on the 88 you get a beautiful little mini sustain pedal. Look at that little thing. And you get a cable in there. Bag as well for the 88. Uh, there's a clip from an old video where I'm mincing along the alleyway, which will show you the effectiveness of the bag. Isn't that insane? I'm gonna get my laptop, and apparently the new features are velocity sensitivity, Bluetooth MIDI, they're the things I'm interested in trying out, so let's bug it in. Oh, on the table we got the 49 key version, and we had no idea it's got so much different stuff on it. Oh yeah. Jeez Louise, we have transport controls over here, we have a touchpad that does pitch and mod, which I'll demo in just a second. Inbuilt arpeggiator, and also a separate TRS MIDI output and USB-C power on this one. So I can see that it's offering itself as like a key step alternative, I'd say. Yeah. And the new Akai thing with inbuilt, um, maybe not a sequencer it looks like, but with that arpeggiator and proper MIDI output. Anyway, I've got one of the best plugins in the world loaded up from the best company out there at the moment called Teletone Audio. It just came out, it's called Tempo, and I thought this is a good way to show it. First, let's see how it responds to velocity on this one. So let's get some cymbals. That's pretty good, man. Pretty good. It feels weirdly more responsive. So really great samples coming out of this, but it's got a very unique feature, all based around the pitch and mod wheel, which is if I get a beat going, A, and then on the left hand side of this, we've got pitch, and on this you'll hear what it does to the beat. Cool, so when we're jamming, So it's really interactive way and very inventive, and this is great for it on here. And the mod does stuff as well, check out the mod. So I can tuck it back, but at the same time. Hey, and then that's a really nice implementation. I wonder what it's like on a more synthy type thing. Just loaded in one of my favorite instruments called the Attic 2 from Sonic Couture. And it's a great representation of an Omnichord, but they've modeled the touch strip. So when I play a chord, just like on an Omnichord. Oh, Daniel Lanoir heaven. To conclude, velocity sensitivity is everything. This product is completely transformed and I almost can't believe we sold it without it. The 88 key versions completely transformed with that and I think their effectiveness as a MIDI controller, especially if you're going to weird places or you just want, even for drum programming, having 88 keys that you can flop out at any time and play. There's nothing more I like than flopping out, Taylor, is it? Whee! 
That's cool. And this one with the addition of the pitch and the mod, the Falcon was saying he'd probably go for this one out of any of them uh, to sling in his back to get a 49 key keyboard that's that small. It's incredibly small, smaller than a key step. 37, so very innovative things. Thanks so much for watching. We're giving away synthesizers and MIDI controllers when we get to 100,000 subscribers. So please consider subscribing if you like the videos. Also go check out, if you're into high tech production stuff, Chris has got his own series called The Falcon's Nest and his own channel, go watch that. Um, I'm just gonna hit play and fiddle about with my Omnicord. That's what she said.